video review of the Shadows and Light Oracle deck by Lucy Cavendish. Comes with 45 cards and a very thorough book that comes with meanings obviously on all the different cards. And the first 21 pages covers the history behind the cards and kind of a storyline behind the cards. In page 22, we pick it up with how to conduct a reading, and then three sped spreads using the Oracle of Shadows and Light. So you get very good explanation on the spreads. And then on page 31, we go into the card meanings. Every card has a smaller version of itself than the number of the card, which corresponds to the number on the top of the card, and the name, the meaning, quick meaning, and a paragraph containing kind of a about you know the card and then a paragraph where the card speaks to you and then a paragraph for divination meetings each card has about the same coverage for all of this i guess if i had one complaint about the book is the card is really small a lot of books have a jumbo sized card where you can you know, follow along, but if you have good eyesight or whatever, then this is no problem. You can, of course, you know, use the cards as you're reading the definition, and so you have a big version of it and go from there. Here's the back of the card. It looks really cool. And the front of the card. Each card is laminated very heavily, like all her other decks, like Oracle of the Dragon Fae, uh, Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle, and things like that. And just like those other cards, too, they're very brightly colored. This one kind of features more or less a facial expression that varies between the cards. And I think this facial expression is almost perfect in all of these cards. It really conveys, um, you know, the enlarged head with the expressions. It really conveys the meaning of the card and really kind of hammers home all the uh, artistic quality of the card and the, you know, divination meaning of those things. Again, at the top of the card, you have the number with a, you know, moderately small border around it. Then at the bottom, you have the name of the card and then its message. So, I really like this. I didn't think I would like it at first because it looked a little too teen girlish. But I really like the faces on the card. I think that makes up for, um, you know, some of the style stuff that is not very dude-ish. But, you know, if you're... Younger female, you will just freaking love these cards, guaranteed. So, and with that, let's take a look at the cards.